reversed. Greetings, I am Shad, and there is a trope, a thing that you know, arises in pop culture that we need a test. And it is throwing a weapon with a rope tied to it for the purposes of pulling the weapon back in your hand. Yeah, we're actually going to be testing that. More recently, it has been depicted in the film Prey, which was, you know, quite a fun film. There were a number of dumb things in it. Uh, the axe tied to a rope being the biggest one, especially with how unreasonably effective they show it being with the uh, couple of tries that the protagonist gives. You'd need superhuman reflexes to pull this off, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's actually see, is there validity to it? What problems might arise in testing? Uh, will the rope actually get in the way? Because we have tested trying to shoot an arrow with a rope attached here on Shadowversity, but as we found, the arrow didn't have enough mass and the, and the rope just pulled on it and made too much drag, affecting the range. But there's, there's a lot of mass on this axe, so much so to the point that, uh, you know, it might not hinder the axe's range. You could just get it and throw it. Where'd the rope go? <laughs> We've already found a problem! Okay, okay. See what I mean about unforeseen problems? Let's uh, make it like a lanyard tied around my wrist. So uh, it's not gonna go anywhere this time. I mean, that's the other issue. What about all the slack rope that you have flying around? Like, is it just tied on the side? Uh, anyway, real world issues that people need to address when you try and throw an ax with a rope tied to it. Ha ha. Because who knows what type of goodies you'll find when you try and pull the ax back. Holy crap, it's HelloFresh. Well, it just looks like we're getting sponsored by HelloFresh in this video. I mean, I, 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 look, look, I threw the axe and I, I caught a HelloFresh. What can I say? Guys, if you haven't heard me tell you that HelloFresh is brilliant, let me tell you one more time. I've used it for years, well before they were ever a sponsor. I haven't had a meal that I have not liked so far. The food is brilliant, nutritious, delicious. And here is a brilliant deal to get free food so you can try it out yourself. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code SHADOWVERSITY16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free Free gifts. That's gifts. You know, like presents that are given to you. Not, not like you know, animated gifts. I think there are some of me out there. There are heaps of benefits and adventures using HelloFresh. Produce travels from the farm to your door in less than a week, so it's super fresh. So you can enjoy the fall's freshest flavors. HelloFresh has a line of kid-friendly recipes for those picky eaters. I have five children of my own. I can attest to that. It's perfect for families like mine looking for something new this school year. And one of the things that's particularly shocked me is how good their salads are. I'm not a big salad eater, but still, HelloFresh has not made a salad I have not enjoyed. On top of all this, their fit and wholesome recipes make it easy to eat without sacrificing flavor. So you can really maintain your goals and feel good about your food choices with HelloFresh. And not only are the ingredients really easy to follow, their pre-proportioned ingredients means there's less prep time and less wasted food. Using HelloFresh has really opened up the options in our dining experience, giving us more variety, delicious food, with a variety of heaps of recipes that you can pick from. And guys, you can get up to 16 free meals. Free food right there, give it a try, there's nothing to lose. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code SHADOWVERSITY16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. That is absolutely brilliant, I can really attest and recommend this. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, oh I'm looking forward to trying this one out. One thing that always impresses me about HelloFresh is how good the salads are, genuinely. And I'm not a big salad guy. Ooh. Come on in, guys. Dig in. Come and sit. I take back everything I said about kale. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually really good. <laughs> All right, now before we dive into the practical tests, I get that, you know, a lot of this is just fantasy fun and things, but that's what we do here on Functional Fandom. We actually want to see what are the real world problems, limitations, practicalities of many things that we see in film and pop culture. And one of the first things that we're already seeing is like, this rope isn't too long, all right? This is maybe 10 meters at most, maybe 15, and just having a convenient place to put the rope is an issue. So I'm thinking maybe if you lightly wrapped it around and hopefully it'll go off as you throw. I, I'm doing it for you guys, all right? Let's see what, what's gonna happen here because I have a feeling this is not gonna work out nearly as well. Like I'm already getting tangled in this thing. 
Okay, for this test, I'm not trying to get the axe in the tree. I just want to see if there's a way to have a rope unravel or will the rope unravel in a setup like this. So just a, gonna be a light throw. And that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Do you see that? It's tangled and it doesn't unravel very well at all. And so what you might need to do to try and get it to work, before you throw it, you almost will need to, uh, you have it wrapped around somewhere, wrapped around your belt, drop it and have it away so it'll unravel mostly easily. So look, I can't even do it very easily or quickly here. This is so impractical already. But anyway, we're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, okay, okay. So there's that, all right? And maybe if it was a, in a spool on a hook on your belt and you had the ax and you're there, you just dropped it, it's on the ground and then you get ready and you just throw it. Okay, so we got the ax in the tree. Now in Prey, they had one solid yank would pull the ax to her. First of all, would you be able to dislodge an ax in a tree after throwing in the first place? You need a pull out any other slack, because Prey, it was almost like every throw had the perfect distance and there wasn't any slack where she'd have to go, just, just a minute, Predator, okay, okay now, and then let's yank and see if we can, all right, so we can get it out, but that's the reality right here. She yanked it and it just came right back to her hand instantly. Now granted, my axe is a little heavier. She was using a bit of a smaller tomahawk, but still, no way would she be able to just one yank, have it fly back to her hand instantly. And remember, she's not supposed to be a superhuman. She's supposed to just be a talented hunter. This thing, an alien predator, felt more realistic than the bullcrap that they showed with the axe in that movie. I'll count it, it's in the tree. It's not in the tree very securely. I'd easily be able to yank this out. Got halfway, so I'm thinking, not even axe, any weapon with a rope with the concept of, oh, you can easily pull it back, is such bull crap at the moment. Again, all right, big yank. Yes, I know, pulling on, a sh on, a, on an axe as hard as I can to make it fly towards me, maybe not the safest thing, but I'm that confident that I'm not gonna be able to get the distance and range that even if I do like a full that, ah! but yeah, it's as far as I could get. It's a bit low, it's a nice, nice solid, you know, thing in the tree. Again, so you can definitely pull out, but it's stuck in bark. Bark isn't a strong thing. All right, I'm gonna try and do one more throw, get it in the tree, and after I'm gonna lodge it in the tree with my hand as hard as I can and see if you can dislodge it just by pulling on the rope. There we go. Nice solid strike. Ooh, is it, is it, let's see. Ooh, okay, so, yeah, well, I mean, good enough. Three hits with the ax. Let's see if you can pull it out when it's properly lodged in. I'm gonna go here. Okay, yeah, there we go. After multiple throws, things that we learned. One, you can throw in such a way that the rope doesn't get in the way if it's unspooled and not gonna get tangled. There isn't enough mass to cause so much drag on the ax that it's gonna stop it from you know, flying through the air to the full length of the throat. But we also found that you can yank on this thing as hard as you can, it's not gonna fly easily through the air to your position, but if you could, so if you had the strength to do it, the ax was unusually light, how easy would it be to catch it? Just testing something real quick. So, just noticed something really interesting. I wanted to do some test throws without the rope attached and it is so much easier to get the ax to stick in the tree without the rope. And so what I'm kind of discovering here is the small, even the little bit of drag on that ax was causing it to knock the ax head off center, which meant it was rarely sticking in the tree. I thought it was user error, but now that I'm throwing it without the rope, it's remarkably easy to get a good throw. Ah, bugger. I get landed. It just bounced off. I feel bloody robbed. Ah, oh, come off it. <sighs> that was axe first and everything, you bugger. Yeah, they're like, all right, so this is the other big detriment with tying a rope to an axe. It makes it heaps harder to get a good bloody throw, and without it, you know, it's not that difficult. 
So there we go, that's pretty much confirmed. After four quick test throws without a rope, stuck into the tree much easier and more consistently compared to when I had the rope attached and I was always getting knocked off centre. So tying a rope to the axle not only doesn't have any of the benefits they say it does, but it also makes it way more difficult for it to function as a throwing axe, period. For this portion of the test, yes, we're using a LARP axe for safety, okay? And uh, this should make the test as uh, charitable as you ever could, because no real axe will ever get as light as a foam LARP one. This should be e more easier than nearly anything else to pull back and have it arc through the air into your hand without hitting the ground. So I'm going to throw it. I probably would have stayed in the tree. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to yank it, see if I can get it to me in one solid pull. Again, remember, I had to pull in the slack to even get it to this point, and a big yank. Okay, you can get it to me, but it's not going through the air. That's the issue. Okay, so I need to yank on this pretty hard to get it to me, but let's have a look. So it's just, that's one of the issues. It's not arcing through the air. I can't like yank it up and all right, we'll try it off the ground. So I'm kind of pulling up, but I don't think I'll, I'll ever be able to yank it with such force that I'll come towards the center of my height. It's just gonna drag along the ground. Watch this. So first thing debunked, it's never gonna so easily just naturally fly where I can grab it at my mid height. So this is basically debunked, but we're going to go even further to see how easy it is to catch an axe if you could somehow make it come back towards you at a good height where you can grab it with your hand. So if this was a real axe, there would be so much mass and momentum to try and stop in your hand. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Probably chopped my arm. I think the axe head hit me then. <laughs> So if you had superhuman reflexes, I think you could justify catching it every time. But even a really well-trained person, I don't think they'll do it so easy. And then throw back. Surprisingly, yeah, the axe has hit me a couple of times, but when I'm actually just trying to reach out, you can track the movement of the shaft easier than I was expecting and reach out and try and grab the shaft as it's spinning in. Like that. It's becoming easier the more we practice. Couple of interesting observations. Even with being a LARP axe, the amount of force that was thrown into my hand and on, on my fingers with it being so light actually made my hand hurt, all right? If this was wood, a wooden shaft with a metal head, you'd almost break your hand, honestly. I really believe it. Like with the amount of force just this foam one did, it, would, it was so hard to catch without injuring yourself. It's a bit of both. It's surprisingly easier than I thought to track the uh, spinning of the axe, aim for the shaft and grabbing it. After a couple of tries and, and a bit of practice, we are getting half decent at it. But then on the other side, the, the actual pain it, it caused makes it to me wholly impractical, even if it's feasibly possible to catch it when it's thrown back. How interesting is that? But overall, the full idea concept of throwing an axe with a rope tied to it with the intent of pulling on the rope to get the axe to fly back to your hand is utterly ridiculous, as I think it's pretty obvious, but it's still fun to test out in the real world because we did learn some interesting things from it. This is actually a lot of fun and I hope you've enjoyed it as well, as I also hope to see you here on the next video on Shadowversity. So until that time, farewell.